Hey everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101. Today's tutorial is a fun heart tutorial for you. We're making these beautiful designs. They're pretty easy to make, perfect for beginners. Got one more down here, I just can't hold all three. There we go. This is the one we actually go step by step through, but I give tips and tricks to get these so you can create lovely hearts to hide around town. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And of course, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe. Okay, for these hearts, you're gonna want a variety of different sizes of um, paint pens. Mostly, uh, you want to make sure you at least have some fine tip ones for the detail work we're going to do. And then as far as the solid colors, um, they can be any size that you want. You could even use 1Ms for the solid colors. I just like to pair them up a lighter hue and a darker hue of each color. And then I have my white because white will pop off of any color um, that we put on here. So I'm going to toggle be three, between three different rocks that will help with my dry time. Um, I like to kind of spin my rocks so that the way that it sits will look pleasing when I'm done. Um, you can decide and see like this has more of a lump, so I want this side to be my top. So I'm gonna start by placing a heart in the center, a fairly small heart in the center of one of my stones here. I'll start here on the right-hand side, and I'm gonna fill it in. So if you have a hard time freehanding hearts, this one will work out well because once you get your heart on there, you can make adjustments. Just don't go too crazy and end up with a giant heart. Keep making each side bigger and each side bigger. It does not have to be a mirror image style heart. Sometimes I like to on purpose make one size a little bit bigger. Okay. Now I'm gonna do my second one here. And I got this color out of a different pack and it might be my favorite paint pen color that I own. I love it, it's like magenta. And then the last one over here, we'll do purple. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to use different thicknesses of lines and we're gonna slowly build our heart out making streaks of each color. So play around with the um, thickness in between. So I'm just gonna go right around this heart. First I'm gonna start with outlining it. I'm trying not to get on top of the blue too much, although the edges are pretty dry already. And then I'm gonna thicken this line up a little bit. And it doesn't matter the order of colors you go. You can bounce back and forth between them any which way you want. But basically we're gonna continue to do this on each of the rocks until we get to the outside of the rock. So I'm gonna speed a lot of this up because it gets a little bit repetitive, um, but you'll be able to see, I'll show you in between in a few spots um, as I go along. Once your heart layers are dry, it's time to start going in and adding some fun details. And this is what's really gonna make these hearts something amazing to hide around town. So I'm just gonna work my way through one heart at a time here. So I'm gonna place these two off to the side. This one looks most dry to me. Now, like I said, I have one M tip pens here that I'm gonna use for all of my detail work. Um, I've got a color that complements each of the colors that are in here and white as well. So I'm gonna start here on, uh, right at the beginning, right off the center here, on top of my dark pink, I'm gonna be using this light pink. And you can use any design technique you want. Um, I'm gonna start by doing a scallop edge around the center heart, and I'm gonna be inside the maroon. So I'll do a couple and show you, I'll pull it a little closer here. I'm not filling all of the space. So see, I'm just doing that scallop edge there. 
can you see that? All the way around my heart. Like so. Now I'll switch out to my blue and do a design in the blue. And I think this is my nice skinny one. Um, so there's a few different things. You can do dots, you can do dashes. I think I'm gonna do dashes in this one. I'm gonna go through the whole thing. Now when I do dashes on things that have curves and straight lines, I like to place down some as a guideline first. So this is an obvious one, straight up and down straight up and down, but I always like my dashes to be going to the center. So like on both of the arches, I'm gonna put one because you're slowly gonna turn as you go around these arches. And so I'm just gonna go along these lines now. And I tend to turn my rock, so I'm always pulling towards the center. And it helps me. I guess on these arches, they don't quite go to the center all the time. Just do what's visually pleasing to yourself, and that's going to be good enough. I'm going to take and I'm going to do dots along the outside edge here of the heart with the purple. So it's going to be along the seam even. Now, if you just dab, it's going to be pretty small. So I'm going to kind of do a little wiggle on each of them here. And I always like to have one on the tip. So I'm going to just go along the edge with my dots here. Since I started with this pale purple, I love that we ended with the pale purple. That all depends on the thickness you make your hearts and how big your stone is. But you could definitely plan that out if you wanted to as well. And then once you've got this last layer on, you can decide if you want to add any white into your design or if you just like it as is. I'm kind of liking the look without the white. Since I'm on a nice light stone, I feel like I've got lightness in the design. And again with dots, see I turned my rock as well to kind of help me. And there we go. Isn't that adorable? So I'm gonna do the same style of thing on these other two rocks. I'll show you those here at the end. So hold on just a second and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, I'm done with the rest of them. Um, I only ended up using white in this one, but a couple different ideas. You can do dash marks and I put little white dots in between and then I did the white dots obviously in that center heart. Um, let's see on this one, this is the one you watched me do. All finished there. And then on this one I did the scallops opposite on the outer edge there. Something a little more fun and funky there on the inside. Now I wanted to have you pop back in. I'm just gonna do my final touch here on this one. Now you can go back in if you've got the extra fine tip of the base color that you had and even add another fun layer. So I'm gonna dot these right in the center of each of these uh, circles. for our final, final touch. And there we have it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. We've got lots more heart inspiration um, that you'll see the playlist here at the end. Um, so feel free to find a few more fun ideas to paint. Everybody have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.